right, so this is going to be a follow me around and do some enrichment type activities with the dogs. I've got Wrigley and uh, Fenway. So the dogs have been by themselves all day. Um, it's Wednesday, they stay by themselves from about 7.45 in the morning until I was actually gone until almost 2.45. Today, which is a really long time, especially for my six and a half month old puppy, to not do anything. So Wednesdays, I get to come home from work and do more stuff with them, which is great. I've kind of blocked off this time in my schedule to be able to do this with them. So today's enrichment activity, we're going to take some of these um, treats and we are going to hide them around the house for the dogs to find. I actually have not done this activity with them in a little while. It is 98 degrees outside today. It's way too hot to do any sort of outdoor adventure time, sniffy walk, anything like that. It's entirely too hot to do that, which is normally what we do on Wednesdays, but that's just not gonna happen today. So we're gonna do some indoor type of games um, and we're going to do this in a bunch of different rooms of the house so you can kind of follow along and um, we'll see how they do with it. Okay, so I've got my dogs, one, two. I've got my treats. Um, I like to use my real meat treats for this because they're already broken up in focus. There we go, they're already broken up into small pieces and these ones are the lamb flavor, they're really smelly. So that works really well for my purposes. Um, Fenway is still working on his stay, so typically I will cue Wrigley to stay while I go hide treats, but we're going to be utilizing some baby gates and whatnot to assist us with that. And I'm going to kind of see how they do finding treats together. Um, this is actually not something that I have done before, but they have been very appropriate with, uh, I don't want to say sharing food. They don't share food. I don't let them share food, but if one dog approaches something, the other dog will walk away. So anyways, we're gonna give this a try. Let's go over here first. All right, and I'm going to keep you guys over here. Hi, Finn, thank you so much. You guys stay there for a minute. Okay, close this gate. Dog's quarantined. Um, and if you've never done this before, I usually just kind of toss out treats um, for the puppy to find fairly easily. Okay, here we go. Set. Fen set. Good boy. Go search. This is a game that they have done individually before. Um, so Fen knows exactly what this means. Wrigley obviously knows what this means. But this is pretty good. They're doing they're doing pretty good searching together. Good job, buddy. Did we get them all? Yeah, this is gonna go a lot faster with just the two of you guys doing it. Alright, nice job. Nice job. Good job, guys. Well done. Good job, buddy. Okay, and then uh, we're going to go reload and do this again. Fence it. Good. Go search. Good job. Good boy, Bubs. Go search. Good job, buddy. Fan, go search. Good boy. Well done. Good boy. Did you get them all, Reeves? Okay, so having done a couple rounds of that, I'm going to switch to alternating dogs. Fen is just a little bit less confident um, moving around in the space, and he's deferring to Wrigley. Yes, you are. He's deferring to Wrigley, which is totally appropriate, but I want him to also have fun 
with this activity, so we're gonna do separate searches now. Good job, buddy. There's a little more. Finn, go search. Good boy. How about over here? Go search. Good job, buddy. What about down there? Go search. Good boy. Good job. Nice boy. How about over here? Okay, come on, Finn. Good boy. Okay, Wrigley's turn. I'm rewarding Fen for being calm on the other side of the gate while she searches. Good boy. So this breaking that he's doing, Fen, come here, boys. Good boy, sit down. Yes, good boy. This barking that he's doing is all just attention barking. So I'm gonna make it easier for him, and I'm gonna come onto the same side that he is on to make him less frustrated, and I need to reload on some treats. Wrigley is perfectly capable of continuing to find the food on her own, but he needs a little bit more guidance in this because patience is not our best skill. Good boy, come here. Okay, so we're gonna kind of baby step into this a little bit more. I'm gonna ask him what I want him to do. Down. Yes, good boy. Yes. And I'm going to reward him for holding that position. Yes. 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 Good boy. And it seems like Wrigley is done. Then free. I'm going to release him. Reeks, come here. Good job. Get your butt over here. Move, move, move. There you go. Okay. Patience is really hard for him right now too and it's not necessarily a skill that I want to work on right now because he's just pent up with energy. So what I'm going to do, here let me flip you guys around. Okay, so this is good. I usually am never able to get this stuff on video, but Fen is frustrated. He's been pent up like literally all morning literally for seven hours this morning. I don't expect him to be patient right now. I really don't. That's not that's not a skill that I'm looking to like work on in this moment when he is really frustrated from just being by himself. He, need, he wants to do things and I really don't blame him for that. So what we're gonna change about this game is I'm gonna set up two rooms at once basically um, and have each dog go search in one individual room. So what we're gonna do for this one is we're gonna do the training room and the garage because I can easily keep the dogs on one side while I set up the other. I'm gonna bring my treats with me, but 
that way both dogs can go at the same time, um, which will be a lot less frustrating for Fenway to have to deal with. So while the attention barking is not necessarily something that I want, and I'm in the dark, hold on. So while the attention barking is not necessarily something that I like and is something that I'm like going for, I think it's important to consider why it's actually happening. So Fen has been pent up for seven hours. He's frustrated, he wants to do something. He doesn't want to wait. Um, he doesn't want to wait his turn and I completely can sympathize with him for that. So I'm making the game easier and I'm setting up two individual rooms so both dogs can go at the exact same time. All the waiting that is happening is both of them right now on the other side of the door and they're doing okay with that. The barking that just happened in that case was more, I'm frustrated, please let me do something. And I get it, he has a completely valid reason for doing that. So I'm going to, instead of getting angry about it, I'm going to alter the game. And I kind of showed you guys how I work through that in the moment that it's happening too. So, I'm using that as information now, and I'm altering the game to make it more fun and easier for everyone involved. Okay, did the garage. Now, now the training room, which is a little bit of a mess, but that's okay. And then, okay, that works. And then what I'll actually do too is swap rooms. So I'll have um, one dog do the garage, and then another dog do the training room and we'll swap after that. Put a few in puzzle toy here. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. Let's have Wrigley go search. Go search lady. Go search. Good girl. Fen, go search. Come on, bubs. Go boy, go search. Open that so I can watch Wrigley and go search, buddy. Good boy. You got more still. Here, let me help you. And Fen is still learning this game too, so if your dog is still learning it, help them out. If they are struggling with finding all of the treats. Good job, Bubby. Yeah, well done. And I really like to add a lot of encouragement into this is the skill using his nose. Being the breed that he is, I want him to learn how to use his nose very effectively and very efficiently so that he does not get himself into too much trouble looking and staring at things. Instead, I can teach him to put his nose to the ground. So this is an excellent activity for my little herding dog right here. And it's also going to wear him out to some degree, which I like as well. Is that a little deep for your tongue? You want some help? Try that. Oh no, he knocked it back to the middle. Here, bubs. Okay. Let's help you out with that one. There you go. And we're gonna do it again. <laughs> that one's tricky, huh? You want some help, good boy? Very nice. I'm also kind of teaching Fen, good job buddy, good boy, yeah. I'm teaching Fen when he wants help, he can just look up at me and I will help him if he wants help. Go search, buddy. All right, nice job. Good job, buddy, very nice. You found him all, good boy. Yeah, this is a real good boy. Good job. Did you get them all, Reeks? Nice job, Miss Lady. Come on, Reeks. Okay, so I'm showing Fen a lot more too because Wrigley knows this game. This is not, this is not a hard activity for her. Um, Fenway is still learning this game though, so I'm trying to show you guys like a dog actually learning this game, and he gives up easily, and 
all of the things that are involved in that. So hopefully that's helpful. Um, Wrigley is doing the exact same stuff, just in a different room. Um, she just knows how to play this game. And I figured showing you guys a dog that doesn't quite fully know how to play this game is gonna be more helpful for you. Riggs, go search. Finn, go search, buddy. There he is, good boy. Go search, Bubby. I know, we don't usually play this game in here. He's never played this game in here. Okay, this is good. Hey, Bubs, ready? Let's go. Come on, find it. Wow, good boy. Ready? Find it. Good job, buddy. Okay, go search. Awesome. I've never, we've never played this game in the garage before, so it's not an environment that he's used to searching around, so this is good. This is, this is probably going to happen to your dogs at home too, so you might even start by just tossing some treats in this area, and he's like, it's warm in there. <laughs> Come on, Bobs, let's find the rest of them. Good boy, what's that one? Can you search, Finn? Go search. Good boy, well done, over here. Wow, wow, can you search? Good boy, well done. Well done, Bobs. Did you get them all? I think so. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. Nice job. Nice job. And with Fenway, we celebrate. Yes, we do. You got itchy face. Goodness. Good job, buddy. Well done. Okay. Did you finish Reeks? Good job, Miss Lady. Good job. Okay. So that's my little go search game um, with these two. We're probably gonna go um, play with the ball or do something else toy related <laughs> for this guy because he's still he's still frustrated. Um, and food, this is a great outlet for Wrigley. This is not necessarily the thing that helps decompress him and get his energy out. Um, it helps and it definitely is something he enjoys temporarily, but not for an extended period of time. So we're going to go play with the ball now and help him with that a little bit more. So, yep, this was our little search game. I really like this game as an indoor activity to wear your dog's brain out just a little bit. Um, if you've got an energetic dog like Fen here, this game alone is not going to do a whole lot. Um, he takes a lot of a lot of time and energy into um, effectively tiring him out in an appropriate way. So his thing is play. So we're gonna go play now and wear him out a little bit more and satisfy all of his needs. So hopefully this was helpful for you guys and uh, let me know if you have any questions.